Hey everybody, Matt here with a very, very special video. I was doing uh, one of your favorite things, talking to Ryan and Ryan Atkins and Woods. That full podcast will be up soon, but something came up about VJ Jones and we got him on the phone. So I want to bring this about 12 minutes of a great chat with the current three top racers in the U.S. National Series, Woods, VJ, and Atkins. Away we go. Listen, a shirt. This is historic. This is a historic <laughs> podcast. We have potentially the top three. Now, we already discussed this before you were on, but do you know what has to happen for there to be a crazy tie between you and Atkins? Because you um, you're young and you're fresh with math. I'm guessing <laughs> I'd have math. to – We'd have. I'd have to finish fifth, and then he'd have to finish worse than that, right? Out, he'd have to finish out of the top 10. A plus. He gets an A plus. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I uh, I don't think that's going to happen, but I, I'm really excited about this. You know, it was like I knew it was a potential thing, um, and I, I'm, I'm really excited, dude. Like, it's head to head. It's whoever finishes ahead of each other. So, it, like, it even – even if some crazy person comes out to Big Bear and like blows us out of the water, all that matters is like him against me and how we perform against each other. So yeah. it's like it's like a race we within the race. We should make a spear pact where we just both miss our spears. <laughs> no, I, I no, I can't. I can't do that. You guys don't like burpees? Why would that, I mean, Ryan Atkins? Why would you recommend that spear though, pact? Even? <laughs> because I know, Ryan Atkins like, is like, I'm going to let him go in front of me and then he can miss his spear and I'll be like, fuck that pack. <laughs> no, no. I mean, just like, honestly, straight up. I mean, I think that it would be awesome just to like race straight up and not have a spear a part of it because like I haven't missed a spear in like 15 races, like, 20 races, and then I missed it yesterday. It's like, and like, how shitty would it be to be like, oh, I just put together the most amazing race awesome i turned myself inside out at big bear boom you missed the spear with a minute to go and i just like boom got it see ya and then you're like oh that sucked i don't know i can understand that for sure but yeah. um i don't like missing our spears though because then that like you know that lets other people come around you and that puts us way down overall you know that's kind of silly yeah. but yeah. PJ, have you ever missed yeah, a spear? Yeah, a minute and a half. Oh, no, it has to be awful, like an on-the-fly thing. I can't, like, make a, 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 a decision like that right now from, like, the bedroom of someone else's house. So, speaking, of, speaking of bedroom, VJ, how's your lube game? My lube game? Um, yeah. What part of – in what way? What, what a piece of equipment am I lubing? <laughs> Well, funny exactly. enough, it came up around it, it came up around the tire actually. But but the, okay, so all kidding aside, which is tough for Woods to do, he's always a jokester. Um, a, a very a very legitimate. I was talking about the future of this sport, right? Woodsy looks like he's leaving not the whole sport, but the U.S. National Series. Uh, okay. Gwitsky's going away. Kempson seems to be resting less. So we're talking about the the new faces, right? Schladig, Hawk Call, some other guys that showed up uh, yesterday did really well. Tyler Logan, those guys. I'm like, oh, what about VJ? I'm like, that's a great question. We just, I'd forgotten because you weren't there yesterday. So then Ryan Woods, sorry, Ryan Atkins asked a question and I said, we should bring him on and find out. So Atkins is going to ask you this question now. I said, BJ, Hi. how come I think you have the ability to run very well at a beast race? And I think you just, uh, I think you just need to do it. And how come? Yeah, I am not against. He racing asked, a "How come you suck at it?" It was a very hard call not to race West Virginia, but my whole entire mindset this year has been OCR World Championships. And with that in mind, it has been that John Albin is going to be there. Now it looks like he might not. We don't know. But I was training with the mentality that I have to be John Albin, and knowing what it takes what it would take out of me. It might not hit you the same. Um, I think I could have done well in West Virginia with the correct prep and a taper and everything like that. But I know it would have set me back maybe two weeks of training with a taper, with a little recovery going into OCR Worlds. And I want to get as much work done as I can leading into that race. Um, because honestly, winning West Virginia versus winning OCR World Championships, one of those means a lot more to me than the other. 
Um, I feel like next year I'm really going to be ready for the beast distance. My volume has been pretty consistent. Um, and if I can put together a race later this year, like if I can find a way to get to Abu Dhabi and it happens, uh, I would be up for racing that and, and putting a lot of effort into it. But um, the reason for avoiding West Virginia wasn't because it was a beast. It was more because I, uh, I'm just focused on, on what I'm focused on. Yeah. So, three to the so what about Utah? That well, Utah is a, is a different beast in itself. Like I watched how all of you guys came out of that. And it was, beast. it was rough. <laughs> and, right. uh, honestly, I don't think any of you guys were recovered to come back and race in Asheville. They were way too close no, together. Oh yeah. That, that was, that was a tough turnaround. It did take more out of me than I thought it would. I will admit that. Um, yeah, so, Michael, was, well, was so I think what a lot of people are saying or thinking is that, you know, VJ is specializing now that there's stadiums and high rocks and all this stuff. People need to focus on a distance. You're, you're not saying forever. You're just saying this year is all about OCRWC, but next year you're looking at Spartan series as a whole and OCRWC, or you haven't gotten that far in your brain yet. Like wh wh what's next year? I think um, I'm just really big about preparing for specific events. Um, I'm not going to throw myself into anything half-assed. I'm, I'm not about that. Um, so this year I got to prepare for, you know, specifically 5K and 10K races. Uh, after one race passes, I shift my focus to the next race and I prepare specifically for it. Um, and that just wasn't conducive to like, you know, performance in Utah. That just wasn't, that, that wasn't going to be a thing. I could have showed up there, but, uh, you know, top five would have been like a real good day in that my current fitness uh, at that time. So um, I'm how, open to doing these. Uh, I, like I feel like I'm ready and I, I, I want to prove myself in that arena, but um, it just has to line up at the right times. And next year, if, it, if the schedule looks right, I'll put a beast or two in the schedule. It's just got to be at the right time. It's got to line up uh, strategically for me in my training. Pretty much. So a lot of this was based on the schedule this year, basically. If if Spartan made us do four for the U.S. series, you'd have thrown in West Virginia potentially or Utah. Absolutely. Or yeah. If like... it was if it was four out of five, I would have been on the start line with you guys for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think about the young blood when you were watching Rylan and Hawk? What was your thoughts on watching those guys? I'm excited, dude. Um. You know, since I've become more competitive, I'd say since like 2019 was when I actually like was able to kind of get to the higher level of racing. No one's shown up. You know, no one's really like, at least in my age range or, or anybody at all has really shown up and been a new face in the circuit. And that they happen to be young, too, and they have a like a long future ahead if they commit to it. That's awesome, too. Um but I was just excited to see new people out here and really throwing it in and kind of taking it seriously. Um, Cause you'll see like random people just kind of show up and dabble for a race and then, and then they're MIA for the rest of the year. So someone that can like show up and actually throw down at a championship series and then also commit to doing more. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm excited to see what Hawk can do. I'm excited to race with him once we get the opportunity. Um, Cause that was, that was a strong showing in Utah. And, uh, you know, right off the bat. So that's, that, I'm excited wonder, for it. I'm excited to prove myself against more people too. I wonder when the last time we had like a new face on the podium, you know, someone who hadn't been in the sport for three to five years prior showing up at a U.S. series race. I don't know if like we've actually had someone new in the sport um, on the podium. I mean, because even um, when Johnny uh, and – Kempson, yeah, exactly. I, um, besides, you know, Johnny and Kempson kind of showed up last year, but they've been in it since 2015, 2014, as long as I have. So it, that is kind of unusual. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's like nobody really knew. All the people that are winning have been winning for years. Um, I, I'd say I'm like, I have like the shortest freaking um, like appearance there. And it's still been, you know, a couple of years of being really competitive. So. Well, that brings well, up. Well, you've been in since what, 2016, 2015? Yeah, I think I did my first race in like the end of 2015. And uh, yeah. 2016, I raced a couple more times, but 2017 was when I actually like traveled for the series. Right. But we find it's more common for people like 
Sean, who I want to talk about in a second, or or Renee or these people that have already done something else and like, oh, now I can't quite win at this level, so I'm going to try this other thing, not coming into the sport at a young age like VJ has. Nobody still has because even Hawk's starting way older, like six years older than you are, right? Oof. If you, VJ, Jeez. if you had to, if you had to FMK the three people on this call besides you, who would you choose, do you think? Oh, geez, dude. This is going to get bad. <laughs> I don't know. Do I oh, have wow. to do this? Yes. Is this a requirement? <laughs> and then I'll let you off the phone. Yes. Dang, dude. All right. Well, he already said he swings very well. So, <laughs> there's that. I'm I'm sorry, Matt, but I'm I'm probably gonna have to kill you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, why is Matt the lucky one? <laughs> oh man, Atkins and I are I don't know because I, I got these studs out in front of me, dude. I think. Uh, that got up easy. Hmm. This is this is a deep is thought ready? going into this. There's a lot of consideration going on here, oh, but I think the consistency of Atkins is worthy of marriage. Yes, but exactly. One, but a one night with Woodsy. Now that's yeah. special, dude. All right, all right. I'm okay with forget. that. I'm okay with that. Just one night, okay. <laughs> I think that's the right answer. I think. Don't I think quote me ten, on that. No, I think ten out of ten people would say that. Would in that scenario would. <sighs> Atkins is definitely the Wouldn't M, and, and Woods yeah. is the F, and I'm the kill. I'm the good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Good well, this has been Woods. fantastic. I'm going to put this up nearly <laughs> almost immediately. Thank you so much for coming. You're going to cut off that end part, right? No, definitely not. That's that's gold. That's going to – or maybe that'll that's be a Patreon on only. Over and over again. That'll, that'll, that'll be, be the next Instagram T-shirt. Uh, post. As I mentioned, over an hour – more of content with this thing with me and the two Ryans and more with VJ. But I want to bring you this fun stuff right now. So thanks so much for watching. Love you, miss you, mean it. Stay tuned. Lots of great content coming up uh, with OCR World Championships and the last Spartan race of the series. All the fun stuff coming. All right. Love you, miss you, mean it. Gotta rock.